when I don't hear myself represented at all in what you're critiquing, I can't help but say, I don't even know how to begin this conversation. So again, I'm not trying to be rude. That's really all I have to say to you, Matt. I mean, unless I hear myself actually represented in the criticisms that you're given, I'm not engaging anymore. No offense. I mean, I like you, but I, I'm not really sure. Unless I hear myself actually represented in the criticisms that you're given, and I don't see myself represented in the criticisms uh, that you're giving, that is the position that you're critiquing, I just don't see myself in there. Yes, I do believe in uh, an embodied mind orientation. You look up... Okay. Well, um, the thing is, I, I believe I've been focusing on a characterization that you have aggrandized uh, human species with your endorsement of the idea that somehow we are the superlative of superlatives, and that these differences of degrees between us and other animals become differences of kind. But you admit that all differences of kind break down to differences of degree, and that all I'm saying is that you can't make an argument based on the idea that the concept of kind applies and degree doesn't, right? So if there's a gift for humans because of their kind, that that is an approximate statement, that kind can be told in terms of the gaps in grouping theory, basically, clustering theory. You know, we identified clusters of certain configurations of, of information. Those are kinds, right? There's not just one kind and they're all exactly the right. No, they, they scatter around the actual material uh, criteria used to, to identify them. And so all I'm saying is if you want to talk about how humans are the special of the special, then, uh, you know, you're trying to say that the concept of degree doesn't apply, you know, because each of us have, has our own kind of specialness, right? And there, there, there is, you know, there is a denial on that. Uh, you say that I don't understand. If I watch your videos more, am I going to understand better something about what it means when someone says that the human mind, the human consciousness, whatever, is a superlative among superlatives. Is that going to come to mean something different than that? Is that, is that going to change? Because this is not our technical language, it's yours or mine, that creates the impression that that's an aggrandizement of, of, human, of humans, right? That's just natural language. That sounds like an aggrandizement of humans. And you say that you're not represented at all, but this is what I've been saying to you, and I've been talking about many related things about it, and that's how we've got into degree and kind. Okay, you know, the apple is not an orange, but wait, through evolution... Oh, actually, let's just play a little more. You look up words in the dictionary, now, even though they're all just differences of degree, that is, there's sound qualities and aspects of sound that come out of our mouth, we do hear discrete kinds of things. Yes, okay, I agree that we hear discrete kinds of things, but I'm not talking about the degrees because of the sound, okay? I'm talking about the degrees, for example, an apple and an orange being connected by the degrees in terms of their evolution, what brought them to that shape they currently have, and the fact that they have a common ancestors, ancestor where both, the potential for both was some in some sense implicit, implied, at least now, in retrospect, okay, and it's the same with concepts, it's the same with everything, everything, you can use the concept of kind, I'm not ignoring, like, Gary, the, or if, not saying that Gary is, these implications, okay, of the differences, and, and, and the difference that those differences make, okay, I'm not ignoring that, I'm simply saying that if you can apply a, a, a a concept of kind to your analysis, but you can't really correlate that with the concept of degree, then you have a problem, because we know the concept of kind, in real material terms, is about clustering in some sense or other, that a bunch of things which are actually all unique can be considered as the same, as you quoted Nietzsche is, Nietzsche is saying. We know that now, okay? So, if you if you're talking about kind and that thinking doesn't apply, it must be the metaphysical kind, this essential kind, which is really not allowed. But I'll talk about the Nietzsche and Plater uh, later. And by not allowed, of course, I mean by these principles that we're supposedly accepting. 